Hello, everyone, and welcome to our coronavirus booster update for the week of February 22nd, 2021. My name is Anika Gianforti, and I will be providing you with this week's update. We're going to talk about what we're seeing on the national trends and also what we're seeing as far as trends go for the amount of people in the U.S. who have been currently vaccinated with the COVID-19 COVID vaccine. So as far as numbers grow, when we look at our nationwide metrics, numbers are falling across the board. This is particularly important as we look at the weekly cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. So here I have the number of daily cases with the uh, seven-day average lines here. So when we look at our number of um, cases on a weekly basis, we're down 29.3%. And for weekly hospitalizations, we're down 17.2%. And this is particularly encouraging because every subregion of the United States now shows substantial declines in the number of hospitalized COVID-19 patients. So this is encouraging because um, we, we definitely wanna see that number decline across the board. And the fact that this is happening in all regions across the United States um, is, is very uplifting. Now, it's important to point out that despite the declines, the total number of people hospitalized is still very high in general. So hospitalizations have yet to fall far enough to reach even the peaks of two previous surges, um, which both rose to about 60,000 hospitalizations here. So we still definitely want to see this number continue to decline um, because that will also lead to fewer deaths. And when we look at our seven day um, uh, average for weekly deaths, we are down about 26.6%. Now, one thing about this data um, that we really like to see is that when we look at numbers from nursing homes and other long-term care facilities, we are now seeing solid declines in deaths correlated with COVID-19 vaccinations with this population. So since our vaccination efforts um, really focused on hitting that vulnerable population first um, and rollouts across the United States. It's really great that we're starting to see science at work and seeing that the data holds true um, when we look at these popul populations and the amount of uh, those population, popul populations that are hospitalized um, or have died. So digging into this hospitalization, detail a little bit more if you're curious, you know, depending on where you're tuning in and from from across the United States. 41 of our 50 states have falling number of um, uh, changes and amount of folks who are currently hospitalized today versus uh, the previous week. Nine of those states are staying approximately the same, give or take 10%. And one state, um, South Dakota, is rising in, in hospitalization. So we hope to see them turn that around shortly here. And as far as vaccination rollout goes, if you're curious about how many doses have been administered across the United States, um, we are looking at total doses administered at 61.2 million. And the number of people receiving two doses of the vaccine are approaching 18 million. So we're seeing that vaccination rollout continue to happen. And remember, we are starting to see um, data um, in number of hospitalizations and deaths that back up the fact that these vaccines are working and they are effective. So if you are able to uh, get a vaccination, please do so. And this is what our vaccine uh, distribution looks like across the United States. So these darker blue areas, uh, New York, Florida, Texas, California, um, show that we have the highest density of uh, folks uh, receiving uh, dosage, dosages of those vaccinations. And in some states, um, we see a lower adoption and that could be due to a variety of factors based on um, vaccine distribution and also people willing to take the vaccine. So if you are able to take the vaccine, please, please continue to do so. Now the vaccination is really, really important as we um, work towards building heat, herd immunity to eradicating uh, COVID-19, but remember to keep practicing the basics. So keep practicing social distancing, wear those face coverings and regularly wash your hands with soap and water or use an appropriate hand sanitizer. And if this coupled with our vaccination rollout um, should help us be in a much more desirable place than we have been over the past, uh, past year or so. So 
please continue to do those. And thank you very much. We will talk to you next week.